So let's have a look at how we can set up some uh, aero solver simulations um, using the graph. So I'm just going to create a new graph. Just put my grid there. So as usual, get this input output. Just delete the input. Don't really need it. Um, so I've got my output. And I've got my graph there. I've got nothing in the scene. I'm just going to make a platonic solid. Uh, zoom into that. And let's just open up the attribute editor. I'm just going to give it one subdivision, make it size two. And if I close that, so middle mouse, drag that in. Let's just move that over a bit. So we've got protonic solid and our output. So in here, we now want to simulate smoke. So we, what we can do is um, in here we have a few uh, sort of basic setups. So we've got a simulation aero. There's a thing called basic aero graph or basic combustion graph. The same thing for particles. We've got a basic particle graph. Um, do we have anything for NPM? No, we don't. So let me just go basic aero graph. And you get this. And <clears throat> this sort of introduces to another aspect of what's going on in here is that you can make things into compounds. So you can make a load of these little nodes, you can grab them, and then basically it's a bit like grouping them. You can group them all into one compound. So if I double click this and go inside it, you can see it's got this basic setup for an aero simulation. Um, so, what you could do is you could do that. Actually, well, let me do that. Right? So it doesn't let you do that. No, you have to. You have to explode it. So, to open it up, you right-click, and you go explode. Um, and what it will do is it will basically bring all the stuff that's inside there out. So we've got that. Um, and you can connect stuff up that way. So it's a slightly quicker way of doing it. it doesn't give you much, but it gives you a little bit of a start. Um, but I'm gonna gonna do it all from scratch just so we sort of get our head around the workflow. So I want to simulate some smoke, and that's called an aero in here. So I'm just gonna go tab sim and go simulate aero. We get this. So we've got all these output things and we've got all these inputs. So one of the good things is we can right-click these inputs, you go right click, go create node, and it will create for you the most likely node that should be stuck attached to that. So for a source, it needs an air source. So do that, it makes that. Um, <clears throat> we also want to add some settings so we can sort of change this. At the moment, you can't access anything here, it's just literally empty. Um, so I'm going to right click that, create node, solver settings. So now you can see we've got all those sort of solvers and things that we've seen in other bits of software such as gravity, uh, scene scale, uh, ambient temperature and things like that. We'll go all through this in a bit. And if we want to make a collider, we need to make a node that will accept colliders. So we'll make one now because we'll probably make a collider. And then we've got things like influences. And influences are a bit like turbulence and wind and air and stuff like that. We can add those, but we'll add those in a bit. So I've brought my platonic shape in. I've got my source there. You can see it's asking for some geometry. So we need a bit of geometry to emit from. So I'm just going to drag that over like that. And then I'm just going to drag out the aero volume to the output. And now. Make sure I've got play every frame on. So now when I hit play, you can see smoke is emitting from that solid. And as you can see, it's quite quick. And there we go. So it can be as simple as that to sort of make this thingy really all I'm using here is a source air simulate error and an output um, 
because I haven't actually changed any of these, so it wouldn't affect that if I disconnected those. Um, if you do want to disconnect them, you can just either click and drag, or if you want to disconnect a whole load of them, you can hold down Alt and Shift, or probably Command on a Mac, and left click, and you can cut through them all like that. And we'll just reconnect those. So that goes to the source, that goes to the collider, and that goes to the settings. Right. So um, that's our basic setup. Um, let's talk about the source air and what we can do in here. So um, actually, I'll probably do this in another video. Actually, so that's the basic setup. I'm going to leave that as that, and then we'll talk about these individually next.